Welcome back to another segment of Farm Show TV. We are on location in Humboldt, Saskatchewan at the Prairie Agriculture Machinery Institute, known worldwide as PAMI. Joining me today is the President and CEO, Leah Olson. Thank you for hosting us, Leah. Yeah, very happy to have you all here. And also we have Jason McNamee. He is the co-founder and the Chief Product Officer at Lucent Bio. Thank you for being here, Jason. Thanks for having us. So Leah, start us off. What happens here at PAMI? So we are where great ideas become products. We do design, we build, and we also test products um, for clients in the agricultural, mining, and transportation industries. We've got a ton of test equipment in the back shop, but we've got a really multifunctional team that uh, works with clients, many of whom come to us with difficult problems and uh, provide solutions that we you know, design, build, and test typically for them. So you have partnerships like you have with Lucent Bio with so many other companies. Jason, tell us about, tell us the story of Lucent Bio and some of the products that you're producing. We founded our company back in 2014 with the real simple idea uh, that we felt that we could make better agricultural fertility products that would work better than the current suite of products as well as sequester carbon and create more value in the entire uh, value chain of agriculture. Very good. So fertilizer, farmers are very supportive and familiar with the use of fertilizer. Tell us what is unique about your fertilizer product. So what, what we really learned is we found a way that we could attach nutrients to cellulose and we can have any sort of cellulose. It could be wheat chaff, it could be uh, pea hulls or lentil hulls or whatever. And the secret sauce is that we attach the nutrients tightly enough that there's no tie up or leaching, but not so tightly that the microbiome can't access them. And in fact, we utilize your microbiome to feed your crop. So the cellulose in our product feeds your microbiome, which in turn feeds your crop. So farmers, I know there's farmers in our audience today that are going to be very interested in the application process. There's a lot of micronutrient products that get put in front of us. And one of the decision formulas that we use is how convenient the product might be to apply. Is it easy? Does it clump up? Is it messy? All of those things. Can you walk us through the application process? Sure, well, first of all, it's no longer just a micronutrient product. What we have in our product is about 10% uh, uh, potassium, 5% sulfur, and then it'll be somewhere between 5 and 15% micronutrient and the rest is cell cellulose. So it really is what we would call a bioactivated crop nutrition product. The form of it, which we'll see in the back here in a little bit, is a pellet. And it's a pellet that is approximately three millimeters in diameter and three millimeters in length. So almost identical to a typical uh, granulated product. So the way that we've applied it to date is either bulk blended with your MAP or your DAP or your urea, or we have been applying it uh, solo on its own using a saddle tank uh, or something like that on an air seeder. The application rate is only 10 to 20 pounds an acre depending on uh, the crop and the location. So uh, saddle tank is, works or bulk blended works. And so the farmers that have tried it, are they giving you feedback about that application process? Yeah, it's been really interesting. It's really fun. We're working with a company called uh, Intent and they run farmer uh, scale demonstration trials. And it's really good because we get to survey the, the growers and get their feedback and we get to go and visit all the growers. It's been really excellent. So interesting things that, that we've heard is, you know, there's no dust. Uh, it handles easily. It meters well. Uh, those are the sort of uh, feedback that we've had so far. Very good. Well, I'm quite interested in the chit chat in the public arena right now around fertilizer use and there's some rumors around fertilizer reduction mandates that might be coming our way. Will that hinder a company that is producing you know, the product that you're speaking of, or is there any ramifications of those kind of mandates coming down the pipeline? Uh, we don't see it specifically uh, applying to us because we are working with a, a smaller application rate. Uh, because we are a combination of micro and macronutrients and we're not specifically working with nitrogen which is really the focus of the uh, mandates. Uh, so we actually see our product uh, 
being more successful in that sort of uh, uh, policy realm. So speaking of policy, are there other regulatory issues that you're working on that may inhibit the production of your product? That's a, that's a good question. You know, uh, in Canada, in order to sell your product, you need to register, uh, have that project product registered with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. And uh, it takes a really long time. Now, we really appreciate the, the uh, strict guidelines that they have. Uh, and, uh, you know, we certainly wouldn't want to circumvent those great guidelines that help us keep our environment safe. Uh, but that being said, in other locations, uh, with the sim similar sort of guidelines, and in fact, even more stringent guidelines, like California, for example, uh, we can have our product registered and sold in, in uh, three to six months. I think that's quite common. It's quite common feedback that we get from other industries as well, is that, yes, they're very stringent regulatory bodies in Canada that they appreciate, but we could be streamlining that process to shorten it and inhibit that product coming to market sooner and faster and more efficiently and more cost effective. I want to talk about the partnership between your between Lucent Bio and PAMI. So can you tell us about the your product development from the lab to the farm and how did you even discover the the opportunities through PAMI? It was a it's been a really interesting process, you know, where you go and we got a, a very uh, sophisticated lab and we're you know, we've got, you know, million dollar machines to make, you know, a couple of grams of product. And, you know, then you go, ooh, we're really excited and you go test it. But then you try and take those, you know, few grams to a kilogram and you try and make a thousand kilograms. And, you know, we started out uh, in, in, a <laughs> in our pilot plant, you know, we had outboard motors and canoe paddles and, you know, whatever it took <laughs> to get it done. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to scale effectively, you need to en enlist experts. And we actually found uh, uh, the good people at PAMI uh, through a connection at the University of Saskatchewan. Once we had our first conversation, we were so impressed. We flew out here right away and uh, we developed the relationship quickly and uh, the contract came quickly and we're working here now and we couldn't be happier. So Leah, based on Jason's comments, you know, he's found this partnership with PAMI to be, you know, one of full of expertise. What is it like for PAMI to collaborate with new and innovative companies like Lucent Bio? It's on our end, you know, the, the beauty of what our team enjoys is solving problems. And so for us, when we've got a client like Lucent who comes with technical know-how and they know where they want to be but aren't entirely sure how to, how to get there in the interim, that's a real sweet spot for us. Um, because we've got the facilities and experience in agriculture to be able to help them. Um, it's very different from, say, you know, when we do a head-to-head -head testing and we're looking to compare one air seeder to another air seeder. Um, that's a very different sort of experience. So for us, working with startups, we can provide them the engineering support that they need because often, and Lucent's not alone in this one, um, that they will have a great idea and we will work with their patent lawyers on any sort of intellectual property. Um, so they appreciate that, but, on, but they may not have an engineering team. So that's where they would look to PAMI to be able to provide that engineering expertise, if you will. And you know, a big part of what we do is make sure that we're listening and asking the right questions because our clients pay us, not the other way around. So that voice of the client is really important. And in particular, you know, in the innovation ecosystem, we're a very unique entity. And you know, there's, there's a lot of pride that our team takes in being able to see something that they worked on and to see it practically um, you know, being used by farmers, being used by mining companies or um, transportation organizations. So yeah, we're, we're really pleased to be able to work with them. I think the whole province is quite proud of the work that comes out of PAMI. And truly, as I said at the beginning, it's, a, it's known worldwide for the expertise that comes out. You can find both representatives from Lucent Bio and PAMI at the Canada's Farm Show in June in the Innovation Pavilion. So let's go take that tour. So we're standing in front of one of the many buildings here at the PAMI site. Leah, can you tell us what building is this so we're headed into? Yeah, so this is our Crop process Processing Development Centre. It's a, just under 20,000 square feet. And we are able to manage all of the air filtration, 
the temperature, uh, we've got water and specialized electrical here. Um, so this is a center that is designed to, to help clients um, with specialized um, processing and allows them to control the variables that they need to, to validate or to, to find out what the impact of, of, of them is on their processing. This would be where the magic happens. This is where there is magic, absolutely. So Jason, I would venture a guess that of all the buildings here in PAMI, this is the most important one to Lucent Bio. It's really uh, uh, fantastic that all of this equipment was on hand in the first place. Uh, it just needed to be placed together. And when I say just needed to... <laughs> it's down easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not quite that easy. <laughs> right. You really do need the experts like the folks at PAMI to uh, put it together in a way that's meaningful and makes sense and that we can actually have production. Yeah. It's a technical process, and I think it's going to make more sense when we go see it. So yeah. we'll safety first. Yeah, you're perfect. Up and we'll head in. Sound good? Awesome. Yes? Ideally, it would be a nice straight line, which it will be eventually. But you know, we had there were a lot of things we had to learn yeah. at the start here. Like, so when we we get the raw fiber, we have to clean it because it's still got little bits of wheat in it, or peas, or lentils, or whatever. So it goes, does it go through like a shaker? A grain cleaner, it okay. just has straight grain cleaning yep. system. Yep. And from there we hammer mill it, right here, so you get the right consistency of the raw fiber. Yep. And from there we, it goes into these uh, brown totes here, and those brown totes get stacked up right here. And from there it gets forklifted into the mixer. Okay. It's just a mixer. But really, we call it a reactor. That's where we add the uh, chemistry. And then from there, it comes out, slide gate on the bottom, goes into the bags, and from there into the, into the hopper. It mixing in here, yeah. It comes off of the, here, and uh, it has to come out at a certain rate. Because if you don't get the right rate, then you don't get the right amount of uh, pellets. That's how you get the long pellets or the short ones. So the, the critical piece here actually is the feed rate and the moisture content so that we get good output here. a great day on location here at PAMI. A huge thank you to both Leah and Jason for the interview and the tour of this facility. You can watch this episode of Farm Show TV on our website, canadasfarmshow.com. I'll see you there.